And now on to our next topic. Star Trek Strange New Worlds Episode 2. Star Trek Strange New Worlds second episode is a near-perfect balance of character moments and a charmingly simple adventure of the week. The second installment is as delightfully entertaining as the series premiere, highlighting the fabulous chemistry of this cast and various groups, permutations, and fulfilling the franchise's promise to the letter, seeking out new life and new civilizations, and maybe giving them an unseen helping hand along the way. The beats of this episode are pretty basic. The Enterprise is studying an ancient comet, which suddenly seems poised to strike and largely destroy an M-class planet in their Persephone system, wiping out the non-warp-capable species known as the Daleb that live there. Pike and friends are determined to figure out a way to divert the comet's path. But when they learn it's not actually a comet at all, they'll have to deal with a threat from a highly advanced species that calls themselves the Shepherds whose entire existence is predicated on preventing anything from interfering with their so-called Arbiter, who brings life or destruction in its wake. One of the most appealing aspects of Star Trek as a franchise is that it understands how much we as a species don't and can't know. I mean, the Enterprise's remit is to find out what's out there among the stars, and it's the epitome of hubris to assume that the things we'll encounter on that journey will be creatures that are remotely familiar to us. For me, Trek aliens are and should be weird and unknowable in a lot of ways. See also the glow cloud-esque species 10C in the most recent season of Star Trek Discovery. And they should have beliefs and cultures that are often widely different from our own. Part of the joy of this journey is the discovery after all. Yes, this hour concludes with a classically ridiculous example of a plan that should not work at all, but does. During a mission where not everyone should survive, but in which everyone comes home, no real worse for wear thanks to what is essentially blind luck. The dangerous moments are thwarted via general smarts and teamwork. A grand plan to save the day is hatched at the hinges on an unknown alien race, defaulting to the peaceful choice rather than violence. And almost every major character gets something decent to do. It's basically everything you expect from a story like this. But what makes Children of the Comet work is that it's not just an episode about the weekly adventure. It's about how that weekly adventure informs and changes the lives of these characters in the long term. We get to see Cadet Yahura's first ever away team mission, but although her linguistic skills certainly come in handy when it comes to figuring out the music-based communication method that the Relic uses, it's all really a large meta metaphor for her personal journey, which is figuring out that she has a place and a future in Starfleet. Let us know in the comment section below what did you think of episode 2 of Strange New Worlds.